This video will cover the topic, word problem involving composition of two functions. Our first example will be the braking distance d of v in meters for a certain car moving at a velocity of v in meters per second is given by d of v is equal to v squared over 38. The car's velocity b of t in meters per second t seconds after starting is given by b of t is equal to 3t. Write a formula for the braking distance s of t in meters after t seconds. It is not necessary to simplify. To begin this problem, we need to know what this problem is asking for. In the problem, we are asked to find s of t, which is the braking distance as a function of the variable t. We are given the braking distance as a function of velocity. That is, d of v is equal to v squared over 38. We are also given the velocity as a function of time. That is, b of t is equal to 3t. If we take the composition of d with b, we can get the braking distance as a function of time. What is the composition of d with b? The composition is usually denoted as f of g of x. When we denote the composition of d with b, we get s of t is equal to d of b of d. We will use the expression for b of t as an input for the function d, replacing the variable v. This is what we get. s of t is equal to d of 3t. Now we insert 3t into the function of d of v for the variable v. This gives us s of t is equal to 3t squared over 38. This will be our final answer. Okay, I think I understand, but can we try another example? Our next example will be, suppose the value of r of d of d dollars in euros is given by r of d is equal to 9 over 10 times d. The cost p of n in dollars to purchase and ship in purses is given by p of n is equal to 99 n plus 23. Write a formula for the cost of q of n in euros to purchase and ship in purses. It is not necessary to simplify. Once again, we need to write a formula for the cost of q of n. We do this through taking the composition of r with p. Now that we have r of d is equal to 9 over 10 times d, along with p of n is equal to 99 times n plus 23. When we take the composition of r with p, we get the formula q of n is equal to r of p of n. Okay, so now do we use the expression p of n to replace variable d in the equation r of d equals 9 over 10 times d? That's right. This will give us q of n is equal to 9 tenths times 99n plus 23. Now we can leave the answer in this form because we do not have to simplify. Okay, I think I got it. We take the composition of the first function with the second function. This means we insert the second function in for the variable of the first function. Now we have our final answer that does not have to be simplified. That's great, you got it. Now all you need is a bit more practice. 